Sup, dogs? We are back with potentially the final part of Trom. I think we're about to hit the two hour mark. And uh, by the way, things have been going along. It feels like it's about to end. But hey, what do I know? I'm the Odie from the past. And you guys are from the future. So, you guys are smart ones. Not I. Alright. I kind of forgot what happened last time. So, what the. Oh no, I know this door. Wait, I can hear noises coming from there. That's... That's Irma! Oh yeah, my, my paranoia is off the charts. Where do you want me to throw these? To the trash where they belong! You see your wife throw something in the trash. They look like panties. Irma, Irma! What are you doing there? Get away from him! Oh, hi honey. Didn't expect to see you. How have you been? There you are, smiling! Finally! Smiling, is it true? You can't perform! <laughs> Irma, please get away from him. That is unacceptable, smiling! No employee of mine is allowed to be inferior, damaged! But you see, smiling, because you can't do it, I must. As your boss, I have to take responsibility. And because I am such a good person, I will do it for you. This is redacted from your next pay, of course. Nothing is free. I love how you're taking control, Mr. Williams. It's making me very excited. Get away from her, you fuck. Leave her alone. Smiling, get out of my office. Jesus. I have to save Irma. Irma. What the hell? Oh, hi, Mike. Hello, Mr. Smiling. I'm afraid you are interrupting an important examination, and I have to ask you to leave. What is all this? Why is this happening? Ah, good question. As you already know, having a child is a difficult process. For healthy couples, it may take years and years. Oh, doctor, just cut to the chase. Let's make it happen. Of course. Mr. Smalling, it's a common practice for doctors to do whatever they can do to help their patient. Please, leave the room and let the professionals do what they do best. You'll see the results in nine months, as this procedure has a success rate of over 99%. No, 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 no. Why is this happening? What is all this? Why won't it stop? Chris, you too. Jesus, Mike. You scared the crap out of me. You can't just sneak up on people like that, especially when they're in the middle of something. Why did you do this to me, Irma? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, Mike. I'm doing this for you. As your friend, I feel obligated to help you any way I can. And what better way is there than to help you get what you want? I can't let my friend down. You're such a good friend, Chris. I so am. What you're moping there for, Mike? This is the way this is the way you both get what you want. Now go get some more of that wine. Irma, did you really do this? Huh? Things have changed. It isn't opening anymore. Oh god. His paranoia really is off the charts. But who is that dude though? For serious. I'm back home. Like I'm sure that in the end everything will just be all in my head. And that maybe the dude is like a cousin or a brother or something. But the way that the notes are written... I feel like, oh, jeez, a couple of days ago, I'm back home, oh, wait, did it actually really happen? You know it's a pair of boots and a coat that does not belong to you nor your wife. What the hell? Is she having a visitor? Is he here? You manage to control yourself and suppress your urge to scream. Your heart pounds and your palms are getting sweaty. You clench your fists and take a deep breath. I don't think you've, they've heard me yet. This is my chance. 
I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He's right there next to my wall. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's just that I didn't notice the way that he was peeking down there. He's kind of just... <laughs> but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's right there, next to my wife. I know what they've been doing, I just know. They're playing Mario Kart. You resist the urge to assault the man. God, Jesus, just confront them instead, come on. I need proof. If I had that, she can no longer deny it. I have them now. Bedroom, I need to check the bedroom. I need to be sure. Okay, okay. Calm down, Mike. Take a breath. You take a deep breath. <sighs> your heart is still racing and your whole body shakes. There, they, they were here. I can smell it. <laughs> That's what his deep breath was really about. Here they were in my bed. God damn it, Irma. Why did you do this to me? They didn't even open the window. The whole room reeks of, of sex. Is that? It is. That's fucking it. It's a goddamn condom. I will kill that motherfucker. That is my wife he's fucking. No way he'll get away with this. No way. Time to have a little chat. Mm. What was that? Was it the door? Did he leave? Where is he? Where in the fuck is he? You tell me now. Now, goddammit. Mike, what are you yelling about? Stop acting, you bitch. Stop lying to me. I know everything. Mike, what the hell are you talking about? Stop yelling, please. No, you tell me where he is right now, or you will be very sorry. Where is who? Mike, there's no one here but you. You still keep lying to me. After all we've been through, just stop. I saw you with him just moments ago, so cut the crap and tell me where he is. I don't... I don't understand, Mike. Please stop it. I'll fight him, and when I do, I'll kill him. Uh... What if he's, like, slightly schizophrenic, you know? That jacket is gone, and the shoes... He must have left already. Mike, seriously, why are you doing this? What happened to you? Why, Irma? Why did you do it? Am I not enough for you? I don't understand. Stop lying, you cheating whore! Stop this, please. I swear to you, I haven't done anything. No, you haven't done anything? What the fuck is this, huh? What is this? What? Where? Where did you get that? What do you think? Upstairs in the bedroom. You still deny everything, huh? Why the condom then? Why? Mike, that's... That's not... How many times? How long have you been seeing him? How many... How... In our bed? I, I can't... I can't take this. No, you're sick, Mike. Sick. You need to get help. Help? You're the one who needs help. Cheating on me? No one cheats on me. I'm going to go, Mike. I can't stay here. Not now. Go? Where the fuck do you think you're going? To him? You're gonna go to him. Mike, I'm sorry. I'm going to go now. I'll go to my mother and uh, I'll call you. We'll get help. You're not going anywhere. Mike, you need help. That's right. You go. Leave me. Like you always wanted. You cheat on me. Leave me. Yo, just leave me. Every, every time you all. Please, don't leave me. We'll, we'll work it out. What is happening? <laughs> Seriously, I am so lost with the story. Definitely, he is definitely having some sort of 
episode where he's imagining things. Like, I don't think it is schizophrenia, but it's something that's like it. Why are you all here? Are you going to mock me? <laughs> Tell me how I'm not up for the task. We're here to help you. To provide guidance and opinions. You're pathetic, smiling, letting her go like that. No employee of mine. Shut up. To your surprise, the boss actually shuts up. <laughs> See, Mike? Maybe it's time to stand up for yourself. Wake up. It's very important to remember that there are multiple ways for healthy couples like you. Wake up. To get your own brats. Children are a burden. No, they're not. Stop messing with his head. His head is already messed up, as you youngsters would say. Wake up, damn it. Have you learned anything, smiling? Do you remember now? No, he doesn't. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, Mike. You're already late from work. You're never late. Are you alright, honey? Irma, is that you? Is that really you? Is this real? Yes, it's me. What are you doing sleeping in your suit anyway, silly? Irma, I'm so sorry, Irma. I'm so sorry for everything. Please forgive me. What are you talking about? I'm so sorry for what I did. There is no excuse for me. Please, love, don't leave me again. Mike, we already talked this through. Everything is fine. Come on, I made some coffee. Are you sure you're alright, honey? You look pale. I had the worst nightmare ever, Irma. I'm so sorry for everything. I acted way out of line. I was such a bastard. Like I said, it's alright. It's in the past. We already talked this through. Let's not talk about it again, please. Are you sure? I am. Now finish up that coffee. You're very late from work. I, I don't want to go there. I want to stay here with you. You've never skipped work, Mike. You can't start now. I'll be here when you come back. I promise. I love you, Irma. I know. Now get ready for work, Mike. She didn't say it back. <laughs> she wasn't real. Everyone's waiting for me at the front door. Uh, how do I need? How, I thought I got to get ready. Uh, cell phone? Huh? Uh, uh, uh. I don't know, you guys. I think this is still this is still part of the fiction. Where's your card, Mike? I didn't see it out front. It's it's at work. At work? How did you... Uh, doesn't matter. Come, I'll drive you. I'll wait for you outside. Smiling, we're very glad that you didn't resign. We're happy to have you with us the whole eternity. Now get back to work, Smiling. You have only one chance. Don't fuck it up. Phone shuts down. Mike, we have to leave. Now, he's coming. And he's coming fast. What? Who? Mike, listen to me. We don't have much time. We have to leave. Let's go through the back. Huh? Mike. O okay, lead the way. What? What? Is that the blonde dude? What? The blonde dude was manipulating me the whole time. I, I also thought about that in the back of my head, but I never really said anything about it. But anyways, M M Mike, w what is this? I don't know. Mike, we have to hide. Find us a place to hide. What? He can't find us, Mike. We have to hide. Trust me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope, these are not gonna help. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh no way. They're, we're gonna both hide. Nope, it's too obvious. <laughs> it is too obvious. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, God. I'm not prepared for this. Uh. Ah, uh, emergency save! Uh, uh, and behind the, the the, there's no way we can hide. There is nothing we can do. We are screwed. We are screwed. You and I, we are gonna gonna die. 
What do we do? Mike, you need a fire. <laughs> but there's nothing. No, these are not gonna help. Not gonna help. Uh, uh, uh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh Jesus. What have I not clicked? Seriously, what have I not clicked? Uh, back inside. What? 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 Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> we're, we're gonna hide in the refrigerator. Yes. Okay. No, that doesn't work. Uh. Behind the couch, that's too easy. Uh, easy like Sunday morning. Oh, uh, Jays. Ah, uh, Jays. Mike, you know, yeah. Uh, no, too obvious, too easy. Well, where are we gonna hide? <laughs> it's no use. We can't hide anywhere in here. We have to go to the basement. What? Oh, we have a basement? Oh, yeah. Wasn't there a door with a passcode? That I never was able to learn about. God, my basement is crazy. Irma, where are you? Is she hiding without me? Oh. Irma. No, 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 no. I have to get this door open. He dropped his keys. I need to find the right one for his door and fast. Mike, help. Oh, you, oh, wow. Hey, I got it on the first try. Come on. Irma, Irma, say something. She can't, Mike. You, I'll fucking kill you. No, you won't. You can't. You try to move, but are unable to. What did you do to her? You fuck. What did you do? I did what I had to do. She was being unfaithful. We had to fix it. Irma, please, say something. She can't say anything, Mike. Not after what you did. What? I didn't do anything. You did this. We did it, Mike. What? You did. No. There it is, Mike. Now you're finally seeing the truth. You're remembering. I knew it. See? Oh my god. His split personality. He separated into two beings because of all the stress and hate that he became. Oh, he was he was conflicting his past self with his current self. I remember everything. She she's she's the ghost. I'm sorry. You never got out of the door, you. You never went to your mother's. Your sister. That's why she called. She tried to find you. I'm so sorry. Do you remember now? Do you recognize me? Irma. Do you remember what you did? Tell me, Irma. Was there ever another man? Did you ever cheat on me? No. Soon after the doctor told the news, you changed, Mike. Something inside you changed. You started sending me flowers, started calling me, wanted to spice things up. I liked it at first, it was fresh. But as time went on, you started to act odd. It was like one day you were Mike and the next, someone else. I was scared. And we both know how that went in the end. Are you real? <laughs> Is this real? And it's up to you to decide, Mike. I cannot say. <laughs> Why is this here? Mike, I love you from the bottom of my heart. I was willing to spend my entire life with you. I was there when things were bad, and I was there when they were good. And I'm here now. How can I tell you that you're you? You can, Mike. Listen to your heart. But now is the time. Time to make your decision. You've seen the truth, Mike. Do you trust it, or do you deny it? Are you ready to take responsibility of your actions? What? 
responsibility. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Even Irma as a ghost, it's, it's still just my own... My own demons inside me. That's the guilt portion of me coming at me. Telling me to kill myself. <sighs> I'm gonna say shoot the ghost. Because he, he needs to... <sighs> open himself to his consequences. I'm sorry, Irma. But I can't trust anything I see in this place. You're not real! Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> huh, what? Is someone at the door? Oh, right. I locked that thing after everyone left. Made me feel a bit safer. Never really liked being left alone. I wonder if I heard right. No, there's someone there. Maybe I should get that before it breaks. <laughs> this is nuts. He's he's trapped in his own loop. Damn, I can't see clearly who it is. I thought I was alone in here. If that's an axe mirror and I die in this damn building, I'm gonna hunt the hell out of it. I lock the door and slowly open it, carefully peeking through between the door and the frame. Oh! You're here now, with us, for whole eternity. Victim of the earlier hit and run incident has been identified as Michael Smalling, a local 39-year-old man. Mr. Smalling was crossing the street when he was hit by a yellow car. He was killed on impact. The suspect was seen speeding away from the scene immediately after collision. After identifying the victim, the police went to inform Mr. Smalling's next of kin only to discover the suspect's car parked outside the Smalling's residence. Oh my god! The sp suspect herself was found inside and didn't resist the arrest. She was later identified as the sister of Mr. Smalling's wife. She is now in custody. Oh my god! So... Did I actually... Kill Irma? I mean, did Mike kill Irma? Mrs. Smalling's wife was not present at the residence. After, dis after questioning the suspect, the police returned to the Smalling residence with a K-9 unit who quickly led the police to the backyard. It was there where a corpse of an unknown female was found buried under the flower bed. The corpse is yet to be identified. We'll let you know when we get more information. Oh. Uh... Mind is blown! Oh my god. I, I, I'm gonna go back to choose the other option. To shoot myself instead. But oh my god. I called it too. I totally called it. I was like, what if the other dude is just me, but split personality or something or whatever and it was it totally was oh my god that's just bonkers bonkers crazy jesus this this was a great game absolutely fantastic wonderful oh man my mind is like blown right now like i knew all these events were coming I didn't expect the sister to be the one to ha, to kill him. Maybe because the sequence was so close to each other and I didn't have time to process it. But, <clears throat> oh my god. That's just crazy. Great, great job, Ruscatulli. Oh man. Do you have other games? I would love, love to play them. Alright, I'm gonna go back. See what happens if I choose the other option. Alright, here we go. I love you, Arma. I love you too, Mike. Now, follow me. Oh. Huh. 
Oh. Oh. Alright, so I still die. She still goes to custody. And they find the body. And there's not enough information. Alright. Okay, so the two endings were just, uh... Me continue feeling my guilt forever trapped in a continuous loop until I'm able to accept it and shoot myself. Listen to my guilt. And kablooey. Wow. Again, great job, developer. So, I hope all you guys enjoyed this game. I certainly did, and I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Did the end surprise you? Was it a twist? Did you see this coming? Were you completely mind blown? Let me know. I would love to uh, talk about it, if you want to talk about it. Other than that, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already and you really enjoyed this video, then do please consider hitting that subscribe button. Otherwise, consider hitting the like button. And uh, if you think you have a buddy or two who might enjoy this video or this series as well, then do point them in my direction. I would deeply appreciate that. That said, thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, guys. Ciao!